Hello everyone, welcome to Neetu's Home Food. Today's recipe is a simple, quick and easy wedge fried rice. Wedge fried rice is a very simple yet flavorful dish and the best part is it can be made in minutes if you have the boiled rice ready. Fried rice can be had with dal fry, gobi manchurian or any kind of paneer gravy. For the recipe for gravies check out my channel. And if you are a big fan of eggs you can just scramble an egg and add along with this wedge fried rice to make it more delicious. So why wait, let's see how to make it. But before that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for instant updates. For the preparation part, soak 2 cups of any long grain rice or basmati rice. Today I am using basmati rice. Soak it in water for an hour. Add it in hot boiling water. Add 1 teaspoon of salt or adjust it to your taste. And when it's cooked, strain it out and cool it down. It has to be cooled down completely. So here are the ingredients that you'll need. Basmati rice soaked and cooked Spring onion finely chopped 1 big red onion finely chopped 1 inch ginger grated and few cloves of garlic grated Veggies of your choice I am using cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, bell pepper and green beans sesame oil, black pepper powder, soy sauce, chili sauce and chili vinegar and salt to your taste. Heat sesame oil in a wide pan or wok. It should be on high flame. Add crushed ginger and garlic. You can also chop them if you like. Spring onions and the finely chopped onions. Save the green part of the spring onions for garnishing. Just add the onion bulbs that you have chopped finely. Now add carrots, mushrooms and green beans. Don't add cabbage and bell pepper now because carrots, green beans and mushrooms take a little bit more longer time than bell pepper and cabbage so just give it a minute or two it should be ready it shouldn't be so soft it, it should still be crunchy add some salt mix it and cook it for a minute meanwhile if you like to add eggs to your fried rice you can just scramble an egg and add it later separately So here it is after a minute, add the bell pepper and cabbage chopped finely. You can also shred the cabbage if you want. Mix it well. This might take just a minute. Now add soy sauce, chili sauce and chili vinegar. Always remember to cook the fried rice on a very high flame that's when it will taste good or else the veggies will get soggy if you cook it on a high flame it will still have its crunchiness 
Now add the boiled rice. Before adding salt, check out for the seasoning because you have added salt while you cook the rice and all the sauces will have little bit of salt. So always check before you add more salt. Add black pepper powder to your taste. Give it a good mix. Mix it carefully, don't break the rice. The rice is already cooked so it will not take long, it just has to get heated up. Maybe a minute. Now it's done, add the chopped spring onion, give it a good mix and it's ready to be served. Serve it hot. Wedge fried rice tastes best when it's had hot. And for the dal tadka or dal fry check out my channel. This can be had with any kind of gravy also like paneer butter masala or palak paneer. Check out my channel for those recipes. So if you like eggs you can scramble eggs and add it when you are garnishing it with the spring onions. Try this recipe, it's a must try recipe and the best part is it can be done in minutes if you have the rice ready. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.